super special shout out to all my awesome tier 3 members and patrons Riptide, Anik D, Z Wandra, Matthew Hall, Charlene Kelly, Yushika Bay, Mad Low, and Lucky Charms for their amazing support. Hey guys, and welcome back to Simulist and I, War of the Walkers mod, almost the Darkest Falls. So, last episode, we were making a ton of tungsten and steel over here. How may um, I nope, get out of my way. Uh, we're making a ton of cement over here, and we're making a ton of concrete over here. The more concrete can make get made, the sooner we'll be able to perhaps go live in the wasteland over here. For those of you that saw that one wasteland nighttime episode, you know how hectic the wasteland gets. Um, I'm actually thinking of either building by the trader or building right in the middle of the town over there. But it needs to be an open ground thing, so if we do a quest in the area, if we do quests there, we don't accidentally reset it. But I don't think I'm going to do any more quests. Um, for example, we can actually then go and live over here. Because it's nice asphalt all around. We're inside a POI. The zombies have to break through walls to get to us. I think that would be the perfect spot to make a base if we live there. Um, but first off, we're going to need a ton of resources. So what I think I'm going to do now is we're first going to go for the drop. No, uh, for the supplies, the drop, the map. And then we go up over here for this one. Then we go up over there for that one, this one, and that one. I'm going to cut out the driving so it's not too boring. And then... Who knows, if we have enough time left, we can actually get more stuff done as well. Now I wonder, can these ladies drive with? Where is the other lady? Wait, where is she though? Night... Oh, I thought I had Nightingale with me, but I don't. Huh. I could have sworn I had Nightingale with me. Okay, so first off is going to be this one over here. So I'm facing the wrong direction. We need to go that direction. Guys, every time we come across resources, I'm going to make sure we dig all of it up. Um, or at least the ones that are really, really worth it, the mounds. Because the more resources we can get, the better. Um, we can turn just tungsten fragments into tungsten scrap. And then you can use the tungsten scrap in the tungsten forge to make even more stuff. Uh, I'm not going to go for these mounds. I'm not going to go for like the resource bulbs and stuff on the floor. Although these things are kind of worth it, guys. You do get quite a bit from them, like nitrates and stuff. But what I'm looking for right now are the sharp pointy ones that give you a ton of like special resources. Like silver and gold and diamonds and stuff. With our skill as high as, as it is right now, we are going to get so much resources from those. Um, I should also go and wrench vehicles. But it needs to be like fancy sports cars because we need HD ones. Damn, guys, look at this big chicken. Um, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Ooh, how much meat do you give? 24 white meat. <laughs> when I saw the chicken was last night, I was like, ooh, I have to get this thing on camera. Damn, that's a big chicken. Guys, as soon as you start playing the other mod, um, the Apocalypse Now mod, I don't know if it's invisible chickens, but there's also killer chickens in that one. The first time I ever tried that mod out, um, yeah, I actually got killed by a chicken. And it's only when it started doing damage to me the second time that I realized what the hell was going on. Please don't dump, jump in the hole with me. It's always such a pain trying to get out of these holes when they decide they want to follow you into the hole. Although I can actually just dig around them now that we have the shovel and everything. Okay, then we should be able to go this way. It's weird. So far I've noticed, even on Darkness Falls, most of these treasures are like on the outskirts of the circle always used to be right in the middle of the circles but they changed it so much okay so we loot this a bit of lag come on i need a crowbar my luck is really really crappy when it comes to crowbars we have this tungsten one but i want a purple legendary like with a fire axe and the big oh the big axe isn't even legendary damn okay see now they jumped into the hole so now i need to get out and i can't dig there because they're in the way Come on. Out you go. Out you go. See, they're bumping me in. There you go. Bye-bye. It's annoying when these ladies get in the way. Damn. Okay, I'm not going to go for any of these pillars over here, guys. Uh, for those of you new to the game, that's a pillar with, like, a box on. They might... Ooh, but there might be resources in. See, when we go for the drops, I think I'll do this. Since I haven't even seen anyone else on the map over here. See, these have all been explored. Those are boxes, and there might be some weapons and stuff in there. Since we do need like crowbars and tools and stuff, I'll try and see if I can't uh, stumble across these. If I don't, I don't. Um, I don't really want to go out of my way to get them. Because we're so late game right now, it doesn't really matter whether we go for them or not. Uh, all I need to go do is go to the wasteland and loot something there. And it's the loot over there is way more amazing. 
We just do this, we do this. Ammo. Oh, it's out of ammo. <laughs> then again, we don't have the space. I just realized we don't have space for more ammo. At the base, we are so, so, so full right now. Okay, so as we're driving around, I want to try and do this. As we're driving around, we should every now and then also check the map to see if those dots pop up. But if we go through the town like this, then that's not going to be necessary at all. I do need to uh, keep my eye open for more of these uh, advanced cars, like the sports cars and stuff. I wonder though if it's a type of car. Should I go for like a truck for HD battery and engine? Or is it going to... Uh, I think the sports cars are more like to be, likely to be like steel engines and stuff, right? The normal cars give normal things. Let me just try this. Does the normal cars just give normal batteries and stuff? I think so, right? We just got a ton of stuff. Uh, what did I get? No engine or battery to test. Uh, let's try this one then. The amount of block damage I do right Hello? No, you're going to explode the car. Don't do that. Hit it when the ladies do that. They almost exploded me just now. Guys, this PRI over here is awesome. Can't wait to get to it. Once it oh yeah, it's just normal engines and batteries. I think the sports cars... Oh damn, snuck up on them. I think the sports cars have the chance for like the steel ones and then trucks and stuff, HD ones. I might be wrong though, so I need to go actually look that up. So many of these intersections look exactly like my Darkest Falls game. It's actually scary when you look at it like this, damn. Okay, so... Give me something awesome. Uh, okay, it's mods. No, it's not bad, but it's not great. I'll open that up at the base because we need as much space as possible. This military mine we've already looted, so that's unfortunate. As we go through this now, we need to see if there's like any untouched um, containers, but I don't think so. Like those pillars. But I think we've mostly gotten all the pillars in that area anyways. The nice thing is I'm going to cut away so you guys don't have to be bothered by it. And then I'll catch you guys back if I see pillars and stuff. Now, which way? This way. Ooh. The nice thing about going through territory you have been early game is now you have a chance to go for all of this stuff. Early, I didn't want to go. Oh, I'm so close to one-shotting those. 5% more damage. So I can go for that skill one more time. But yeah, early game, I left all of these nodes. I was like, ah, I don't need it. And now that I want them, okay, level 200. Damn. Is there anything else that might help me with block damage? Because I can't wait that long. Block picking, advanced, daring adventurer. No, damn it. It doesn't look like it. I need more, more damage. I wonder. Um, if I go for something over here. Like overall strength. Is there something that goes for overall strength? Because that would help me out some, tremendously right now. But I doubt it. Tools. Now that's just being able to craft them. That's so unfortunate. I, I'm guessing mining pickaxe. Yeah. The higher the pickaxe goes, the more damage I'll be able to do as well, right? 101% damage. Yeah, it goes higher and higher and higher. Okay, so unfortunately I have to wait for that to finish. What's hitting what? I'm so close to being able to one-shot these. I'm actually considering doing power attacks, but the problem is... See, some of these require three shots. Some just one shot. So if I do a power attack on something that requires only one shot, that's a waste of stamina. But since most of this stuff is just iron, what if I do this? But I think I'm going to run out of stamina way... Oh, no, it still doesn't work. I'm going to run out of stamina way faster if I do that as well. Actually, guys, I just realized if we could put some HD, like, stone breakers and stuff on this thing, HD iron breaker, HD stone breaker, that should do enough damage to one shot, or even do more than one shot some of these blocks. But at the moment, we only have the normal one and the normal one. Even, okay, the weighted head only has one version. But if we can put this one and this one, the HD versions, it's going to do way more damage. Oh, that obviously is only against iron, that's only against stone, but some of the are always like uh, nitrate, I think. I'm not sure about this, so don't quote me on it. But I think nitrate also counts as stone because it's it makes the same noise, and you also need a pick to break it. Um, I might be completely wrong uh, when it comes to that. See, these pillars of here we've already done. But yeah, that, that makes sense that it does more like stone, right? Ooh, another one, yes. I'm going to be so rich when I get back to the base. I need to actually go and repair everything and then sell everything to the trader. I think before I see one of these, or before I even start hitting one of these stones, I need to drink a coffee. I mean, I have the coffee on me for a reason, so why not use it? That's a ton of diamonds. 
Okay, so that's interesting. Uh, my pickaxe skill went up with one from 60 to 61. And now instead of doing with like five HP left, there's four HP left in a block. So I need to up my pick skill. I either need to get a purple pick. Or I need to up my uh, pickaxe skill by four more levels to get that last, that four last back just now. Um, I think this is going to be a great example. Yeah, four left. So I need to up my pickaxe skill four more times and does four more damage. Then I'll be able to one-shot these no problem at all. Okay. Uh, we have to go that direction. I'm almost there. Yeah, there were no pillars over there, unfortunately. I should have gone for all of these pillars over here, so I'm just going to straight, uh, make a straight shoot through to the treasure over there. Okay, and open. Let's see, let's see. Ammo. Ooh, guys, my chests are too full. I, I, I shouldn't complain of the ammo because someone that knows the mod says I'm, um, I should have made ammo long ago. I'm going to struggle that game. So far, I haven't struggled. I have way too much ammo. So I don't know if they're perhaps living in the wasteland. That's why they feel that way. But yeah, so far, I have way too much ammo. Even when I go on a like a firing spree, I have way too much ammo that I, I don't even know what to do with it. So... <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, I need more storage space that, uh, currently at the base to just make sure we have enough for the uh, for the ammo we do have at the moment. Okay, I need to make sure that I don't waste our attacks. Or like that just now. If it gets too low, then I just start left clicking. But if I can get through this whole thing just by power attacking, I don't know if the copy is going to help that much or not. Let's just see. See, every shot I'm giving, it does go down by like 10. And that was a waste. Now, left click. See, that that one left click just saves a bit of stamina. How far can I get? How far can I get? See, this is the coffee. The coffee is helping tremendously. want to make sure. Oh, I'm almost done. Okay, so with the coffee, with power attacks, it goes way faster. Nice. I was able to... Oh, I kind of stopped just now. But nice. Now I know I can power attack. If I can just get those other HD things, it's going to be so much better. Also, I heard a drop while I was digging for the treasure. It's right there. I wonder if I shouldn't go for the drop first and then there. Because after we go there, we're going to go into the wasteland a bit. So we'll go for this one. Guys, I still don't have a ward base, I just realized. But there's 77. I was... I wonder if I shouldn't make a ward base first... And then build my base on top of the ward base. That gives me an excuse to go into the wasteland and live there. If I actually lived on top of my ward base, right? I just need to make sure that's a ward base that doesn't break easily. Otherwise, oh, that's going to be bad if I lose all my stuff. But if I can make my ward base high enough, that should make up for the fact I've like there's crops and stuff vomiting. I think, yeah, that's what, just what we might actually go and do. Okay, we do still have like a minute something left of the coffee. So let's just capitalize on that. But yeah, now I know what I'm going to do, guys. And I always said I want to make a bigger horde base. Better than what we have right now. So if I can go to the wasteland and make a bigger horde base. And then build on top of that. That's going to be my excuse to move to that biome. I really hope that by going for all of these resources, my pickaxe skill goes as high as I want it to be. I just need four levels of my pickaxe skill to make sure that I always two-shot. Although so far, I've been doing two-shots the whole time. Except for that one. That's a pretty hefty one, that one. Even this, this looks like dirt, but it's not. I'm gonna run out of stamina. Did I still have coffee left or not? At this rate, it doesn't feel like I had any coffee left. Because my stamina is super, super low. See, this looks like it isn't even part of the mound. Oh, I ran out of stamina. It's not even part of the mound, but it definitely is. You have to make sure you get all of that. But you know, I haven't, now I have an excuse to go build right in the middle. And I'm going to make my horde base right in the middle. Because if I can set it up in such a way where my ladies are constantly firing at the zombies, trying to get up like a horde base, that's perfect. That's what I need right now. Okay, we're going to go for this one. If I see any more poles, we'll go for those. But for now, I think that should be it for the area. Oh no, we're first going to go for the drop, right? Yeah, let's go for the drop first. Ooh. Okay, so there's none on the beer that I did. Oh, please don't walk into the spikes. Large weapons cache. Okay, cool. And M60. I think we have two levels six M60s, which is awesome. 
Uh, we don't really need... Oh, oh wow, I'm actually going over that resource thing. Nice. But yeah, um, we already have two level 6 M60, so I should probably just go for that. Oh, hello. I'm really glad I came for the resources over here. Damn. Food and drink. Ah, I could easily start a farm with all the stuff I have. Guys, I wonder how rich I am. I haven't even checked my inventory yet. I could just go check over here, but I'm looting, and then later I'll check and make sure. But I think after all these pointy nodes we uh, went for so far, we should be rich when it comes to resources. You know what? Uh, yeah, let me just quickly grab my gun. Make sure we have our gun in hand, because we're going to go to the wasteland now. And we need to make sure we are ready for... Ooh, no. Ready for anything. It's just... I thought there might be another drop over there. There's a ton of wolves all of a sudden in the area, so that's cool. I think if the wolves attack me, the NPC should attack the wolves, right? Or if the wolf attacks him, they'll attack... Oh, two nodes right next to each other. This is resource heaven. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to drink one coffee. You guys protect me from the wolves, please. They're all over. And then I need to go and whack these, and I'll be back as soon as I have both of these nodes uh, dealt with. Hopefully my pickaxe skill goes up in the meantime, so we can just one-shot most of these. Then I don't even have to power attack. Or even that power attack will be able to two-shot instead of leaving like 14 HP left. The sooner we can get to that point, the better. Okay, so we just leveled up. Uh, we're level 180, so I can now go and get one of those skills that requires level 180. Also, just realized, there's a pillar with a box right there. <laughs> also guys, um, I don't know if you guys just realized... I have like 2 HP left. Look at that. 2 HP left on that block. Oh, and they've just increased again. So now there's 1 HP left. Nice. I'm so close to being able to one-shot these blocks. And it's going to save me so much time. Because every extra swing that we have to give is more stamina I wasted. I'm actually really, really happy about this episode so far. I'm cutting away all the unnecessary driving and stuff. But we're coming across so much stuff. This is like resource overload right now. Look at that. Damn. Okay, let me just see over here. We have 250 silver, but that can't be all. Yeah, there's 155. Oh, we are rich. Three, no, 183 gold. And then where's my diamonds? I am superbly rich right now. Yeah, I think I just scrolled past the diamonds. 113. Guys, if we drink Grandpa's awesome sauce and sugar butts and all that stuff, and we have our better barter maxed out, you know how much cash we're going to get? We're going to be so stinking rich. I don't have to do anything else in the game anymore. Okay, so now we have to go to... There's more pillars. I don't know if I have already looted them, but they're so close to the unfound map that I doubt I did. Let me just see. As we're driving, we're going to check for these pillars. If I can get more guns, especially. I don't need ammo right now. I need tools and guns. See, this box has not been gotten. And the more we drive like this, we are, the more likely we are to come across resources. Uh, those nodes, and then the more resources we get, the better. Man, my level's so high, and I am encumbered. Okay, um... Oh, just realized my food is super, super low. I wonder if I can go into the XMLs and change their gunfire. It's just way too loud. Even as far away as they are right now, they do so much noise. Okay, stacks of ammo that are, like, fully stacked. We put away. The rest of the stuff, we get, we'll let them stack a bit more. And stuff we know that can't stack any further. So that can't stack any further. These geo, uh, geodes of here will wait until they're full. Shotguns. Oh, you know what? Um, I haven't even used my shotgun yet. Damn. Oh yeah, what else can I drop right now? Stack of stone. Stuff that can't stack. Seeds will be able to stack later, so I'll keep them on me now. And then all we have to do... Boom. We do... Yeah, we have this drone of here. I also have my bike for later. But it's getting late, so we need to be hurry right now. The longer we wait right now, the more likely we're going to struggle at night time. Because at night time, the, uh, the wasteland is just going to be too overpowered with zombies. Apparently, the respawn rate at night is really, really high. That's why during that one night, we got so overrun with zombies. Uh, I mean, we almost lost two of the NPCs to that noise. Oh, this is messed up. This is unfair. Oh, <laughs> Okay, there's a box over there. But yeah, that's unfair. Uh, that box has completely just gone into the tree. I've noticed that these trees and boxes spawn like very close or very similar to each other. So I wonder if they're like the same coding or something. 
Because that's not the first time that I've seen a tree. Well, that's the first time I've seen a tree replace it. But that's not the first time I've seen like a tree right next to it or something. Okay, tools. Ooh, where's my drone? You are going to take stand still. What the hell? It's juking me over here. Okay, um, we'll put all of the resource, oh, the tools over there. Oh, these geodes you can actually open up. Because some of them might be resources we already have. Yep, they're just stacked into gold. That is something new. Magnetite, and that's something new. Eh, it doesn't matter. I want to start saving the glass as well, the jars. I keep wasting them or using them, and that's just not right. Okay, we do have a stack of iron. The nice thing is now that I sort my inventory, we can see what else has already made a stack that I didn't realize earlier. Yeah, and then I think I should make you, make sure that we eat and drink over here. There's a zombie. There's a zombie. When are you guys going to start firing? Hello? Ladies? Seriously, though? Hello? Are you guys okay? Damn. The zombie was right on top of me before they realized, oh, crap, there's a zombie. Okay, so now we have to go... Oh, there's two more over there. Just in case we get some tools on the go for those. There's a chance that it's nothing. But I mean, I'd rather just take a chance. But that means we're going to go into the wasteland at night time. I need to hurry up. Okay. Uh, come on, come on, come on. I wonder if the uh, NPCs get TP'd to you. It doesn't matter how far away they are. Because that means if we go into like a pure eye. Okay, we're right next to the biome over here. If we go into a PRI and they get stuck downstairs and I climb on a bike in the top floor, will they TP to me? Or will they still be stuck downstairs until I get closer to them? Nice. Okay, um, there's another one. Right there. Again, from here we'll go straight through. I'm actually looking for bandits to kill and then another one of these Jamies. If I can find another one of these Jamies and just have these three following me. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. I do want to go into the XMLs though and see if we can't quiet the gunfire. Because this is just way too loud. Every time they fire, it feels like my ears are bleeding. Okay, accept. And then my drone. Okay, you're almost full, so I need to be careful right now. I can put in my bike, but if I need to pick up my bike in a panic, or like something happens, I, I, oh no, I need to pick it up. I won't be able to. There's a bear coming closer. Hello. Master, we are not alone. Okay, see, that's just one of the many dangers of this biome. I just saw it in the corner of my eye. Okay, so uh, for now, let's just do that. Oh, there's a gun as well. Um, I keep looking for the drone. Like it's moving around, but it's not. Okay, is there anything else over here that might not be able to stack? I don't think so, right? Everything over here can stack and has more space. There are a few things that are rare that might be able to go in there, but for now, it doesn't really matter. So we still have a little bit of space to work with, but then we have to start using our motorcycle. Okay, so we're going to go straight through over here. Hopefully I don't get stuck. We need to go for that container. If we get stuck, we just have to jump off quickly and make sure that the ladies deal with them. Um, because this thing, I don't know if we can actually let you see. Oh, nice. It doesn't stop me. Although, then again, I didn't drive into it directly. But if there's a dog or a bear or something tough, I'm just going to jump off and fight them. Rather than try and run away and then get stuck on something. Wait, is this the pure eye we... I almost looked like it. I was about to say there's a bag here, so it might be next to the pure eye we faced. Oh, it's very close. If I'm not mistaken, this is the one we faced last time, right? But on the front side. Okay, there's so many pure eyes over here. Some awesome looking ones as well that I didn't want to go for. But guys, this is where we almost died and lost two ladies. They love firing at everything that moves. And it pulls the tension of everything, so they keep on spawning more and more zombies. Yeah, we want to see, make sure where this is. Oh, I just, I see something down below. What's that? I wonder if that's a sewer system, or what is that? Okay, there's this over here. Untouched, we have the right glasses on. Nice. Nice. I think it's because of this biome. But that was just really good. If we can just make sure we do this as fast as possible and get out of here before they die, that's going to be okay. Uh, ammo supplies, I think that's the one we just read. Because that's new on the map. Is that a dog? Yep, that's a doggo. Kill the doggo, thank you. Ooh, she kept on running when she stopped. But yeah, guys, this is definitely where we almost died because we looted this thing. That's an awesome PI and this thing is amazing. The one with the Can uh, Canada's leaf symbol on it. Damn, that's uh, epic. I wonder if there's more PIs like it in the area. 
Okay, there's a dog, there's a vulture, there's a snake. Okay. Ooh, please get the vulture, please get the vulture. I'm trying to actually give you guys a little job to do as well. I wonder if the reason those other pillars of resources, the reason that's not in this biome, is perhaps because of the fact that um, it might be too OP. In this biome, the loot's going to be way too epic. There's definitely some tough zombies close by. I need to be careful. Lady, don't follow me. Please don't follow me right now. You rather kill the zombies, I'll go for the loot. You kill the zombies. Deal? Okay. There's definitely zombies outside. Ammo. Damn, that's a lot of ammo. Okay, let me just open this up for next time. Because apparently they keep spawning in exactly the same spot. So next time we won't have to dig so much. We just come down here and then everything will be uh, ready for us. The box is already there. You just need to open it. Okay, so now we go for... The treasure map over there. And then the buried supplies. Oh, crap. There. Her armor is actually really tough. The fact that she was able to take the beating just now and not die is actually insane. Yeah, I want to make sure that we loot. Uh, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. We need to loot the vehicles, obviously, for better stuff. But the reason I want to actually open them is I want to make sure we get those HD batteries and engines and stuff. What did I just get? See, that was, so, that was steel. So I wonder if we shouldn't go for, like, the trucks and heavy vehicles. And that might actually be the HD ones. I did see that truck over there, but for now we'll just go for... Oh crap, another bear. We'll just go for the marker we need to go for. Damn, I didn't even see the bear until it was too late just now. Right, let's try this vehicle. This might give us the HD one. I think that bear's... Yep, the bear's still coming. Ladies, the bear's right there. It's getting stuck, so hopefully that means... Nope, that did not mean. I thought as soon as it's getting stuck, they might be able to kill it faster. Okay, what was that? What did I get? Yeah, okay, so I'm right. So you need to go for trucks and stuff for like the heavy thing, the heavy tough thing. And then you need to go for sports cars for like the steel ones. It might differ. It might be like uh, depending on the car and vehicle and stuff. But it, it makes sense that the heavy duty vehicles are like tungsten. And the fast ones are like uh, steel. So these will give you steel. These will give you steel. I need to go for like the heavy duty vehicles. Okay, since we know this one gives it, I want to quickly try this. There is a vulture on me, so hopefully they shoot it. Now, bear over there, please don't kill it. Oh, please don't let it kill you. Luckily, most of these things stack, so we should only be getting... Okay, oh, there's something behind me. Oh, hello. Okay, yeah, we should only be filling the other ones. Are you guys ready? All right, okay. Uh, but yeah, let me just see. Did I get another engine? Yes, so I was right. I need to go for those vehicles, but it's not always easy going for them. Okay, so let's just run to this one quickly. Protect me, ladies. Protect me. Okay, now where? This way. Since you can crawl through a one by one, it just needs to be wide enough. I wonder if I shouldn't just do that. It's going to be safer later. Although, a zombie can easily crawl on top of our heads right now. Damn. Okay, uh, I'm messing this up superbly right now. Let me just use the shovel then. I thought I might be able to uh, make like a 2 by one I'm be able to uh, just crawl to them. But every time I try that, I end up breaking the wrong block. Okay, so, what are you going to give me? And left click, and right glasses on. Eh, it's okay. Guys, the amount of ammo we have, look at that, I'm already full again. The amount of ammo we have right now is utterly insane. Uh, don't use feathers, pond fibers, we can get it any time. I need space, I need space. I think my drone only has stuff that can't stack. Ladies, please, 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 please. Don't let that... Yeah, the dog got killed. Nice. I was about to say, don't let that thing get through. So everything else is already stacked, unfortunately. I could open these up and there might be stuff that we already have. Mods don't stack, etc. So, I need space. 
Yeah, I'm almost, it's almost night time, so we need to get out of here as soon as possible. We still need to go for uh, this one over here, and that one over there. Okay, so this one is a clear quest, which means zombies are going to spawn. Yippee. At least we have the ladies here to protect us, so that's cool. Come on. Which way, which way, which way? Just please kill all of the in uh, enemies before they get to me. Please, 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 please. What do I pay you for? We need to remember, every time the circle shrinks, zombies can come for us. So at least the lady should get them before they jump in the hole over here. But I need to remember that if they don't, I need to be able to kill them. I need to do this. Yeah, shoot them, please. Oh, crap. Oh, that was, that was a betrayal. That was a betrayal. Ladies, what the hell? Was it betrayal? Damn. Okay, can I get past you guys, please? Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. Damn. Okay, so they almost got me killed just now. Pushed me up to the surface while they got to safety down here. Okay. Uh, now we just have to go. Oh, I need this. I need more space. I need to still grab the actual quest marker, quest icon. Okay, so now we just have to get to safety. Oh, uh, now we can get out. Is there a ton of footsteps here right now? Oh crap, this might be a wandering horde. Ooh, crap, 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 crap. This seems to be a wandering horde. If I can just get pushed to the top like earlier, I'll be able to help them out. Can I jump out? Yes, nice. Okay, cool. A ton of crawlers all the time, damn. Every time I check, there's a crawler or something I have to deal with. Okay, do that, do that. I'll leave the ammo for now. I don't think there's anything else I really want to drop. That's that. Okay. All this ammo is going to go towards my turrets and stuff. Nope, come on. Now we just have to go for one more drop, and then we have finally retrieved everything. That one looks like it might also be in this biome, kind of. No, 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 no. Get out, get out, get out. Oh, thank goodness. I don't want to dig out or pick this thing up right now. We do not have the space. Okay, this is like the third pile that I just went for, guys. And the nice thing is, even with bears and stuff, I think they killed a few bears and stuff over here. Even with bears all around and enemies and stuff, I don't have to worry. I can just go for the nodes and they'll take care of everything. I just realized, though, I'm just going to go into skills over here, go over here. Um, okay, I want to go for that one. But I want to make sure this, that needs to be playable 200. Salvage, I don't really wrench, but when I do, I need more. Ooh, makes it hard. Okay, uh, advanced bot I need to get. Greater health, we should be able to get as well. Greater speed, that is under level 190. Food and drink, that one, all of these are still locked, unfortunately. Working elevator, I don't really need that. Um, or want that at this stage. Nice, now we should be able to get the most. And after getting so many of these nodes, guys, Damn. Um, yeah, we're going to be rich. I put most of my tools, no, most of my ammo in my vehicle over here. Because I was starting to drop resources. So I dropped all the ammo and tools and stuff over here. And yeah, uh, let me just quickly go for this last one. This last thing over here. Every time I see one of those nodes, I just quickly stop and gather it. I mean, later we're going to, I'm going to be so glad that I actually stopped all of these resources. Nice thing is this light is so bright that I have on it. It's a, a mod that I have on it. I can just focus on digging. And it gives me enough light to see what's going on. And the lady should be able to protect me while I'm doing this. So it's going to be... Oh, nice. Right here. Just do that. Do this. Last one. Boom. Nice. Okay, so if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Any comments and tips or feedback? What do you guys think about this amazing episode? I mean, guys, we got rich, insanely rich. Leave a comment down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please make this hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Walker Walkers fun. A big thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click join or the Patreon link in the description down below.